Okay, see, I didn't forget. I didn't forget to turn back on the uh, the viewport for Dwarf Fortress. I did once, and hopefully it'll only be once. All right, let's have a quick look. Ooh, you are an accomplished woodcarver. Eh, it's not amazing. I couldn't... For all that I could tell, Sticky Keys was already turned off. I'm not... I'm probably going to have to disable something that uh, means that Windows can keep a, a look and try to suggest turning it on all the time. Windows are trying to be smarter than it should be, really. Uh, Woodcrafter, I mean, a competent grower, a competent wood burner. But I just don't really need... Damn it. Is, is this woodcrafting that you've got there? That's good. Uh, where are woodsmiths? I could make you an artisan, I suppose. And then turn all of the others off so that you're the only wood crafter. Uh, yeah, alright, we'll, we'll do that. We'll set you up as the only wood crafter in the fort. And then turn off your other duties. And there we go. Right, well, Reg, let's uh, check you out. Henpei, welcome back, Avak. Thank you very much. And Car Dragon, go back to green text, Avak. I'm afraid I can't. I can't actually change the uh, the bolding color whenever my name is mentioned in chat. I did briefly turn off the the highlight color at all, but then it was requested that I turn it back on. So I, it, it's a bit of a bit of six and one and half a dozen of the other. Really, it is an issue we, uh, because it it it's very very difficult to to read through. Whereas uh, just having green text was quite uh, subtle, but it was still enough of a of an indication, uh, an indication that someone was speaking to me. But uh, alas, don't have those choices when I'm not using a dedicated IRC client. This is just regular Twitch chat, I'm afraid. Now, let's uh, check on your thoughts. People should listen to what I have to say. He personally finds artwork boring. He dreams of mastering a skill. Uh, okay. We are making you an artisan. So uh, there's every possibility that you might. And the name of this particular dwarf shall be Henpei. There you go, Henpei. You are in the fort. We've got a fishery worker here. Oh, my lord. You've got a proficient trapper skill. Uh... Maybe I'll leave... Oh, wow. Okay. You are actually pretty good at the whole fish business. You're crazy good at it, in fact. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's turn that off. Ah, Leon Whitestar has given me a bit of advice on how to disable sticky keys. Let me just quickly read this. Um, go to the link, set up sticky keys... Okay, I'm going to quickly try and follow uh, Leon's advice here. Do bear with me just a moment. Uh, keyboard, sticky keys are off. There's, there's, no, there's no useful text underneath. Sticky keys are off. Hmm. All right, let me read through this. Let's see. Curses and keys. No, no, no. There's, there's no particular little link under any of the things that you're talking about. Oh, no. Uh, keyboard. No useful keys. Sticky keys. Nope. I'll just have to wait until it pops back up again and uh, see if I can just tell it to go away. Stop bothering me all the time. We'll, we'll have to see. And sometimes Windows 8 is too clever for its own good as well. Ah, uh, Windows 8. Why? There we go. All right, there we are. We'll have to see. I'll, I'll, I'll fiddle around with it if I get an opportunity to. Right. So, back to the dwarves. Sorry for that uh, brief technical break there. I think this fishery worker is going to be a murder smith. The two... We're just not seeing any fish in this biome, so I don't think there's much point in having them set up to be a fishery worker. As, as much as it pains me to say so. And they don't have any particular skills, but I need to set up a military um, squad. In fact, with the amount of murdersmiths we have, we may be able to set up two. I was near a door. It pleases me. 
Very well. In the last season, he felt pleasure near a very fine bridge. Ah, oh, wonderful. Personally values eloquence, values honesty, and doesn't really see the point of working hard. Uh, that's not so great. That's not great for a murder smith. No, no, no. And the nickname shall be, once again, taken from chat, Death Nuts. I'm actually not sure if we've got a Death Nuts or not. Let's have a look. Do we have a Death Nuts? I... That name just seems familiar to me. No, that's the murder smith there. I don't see any other Death Nuts. Any other Death Nuts. No. Okay, well, uh, Death Nuts, welcome to the fort. You are a murder smith. Okay, let's see what's going on in chat at the moment. Uh, okay, Leon, why so I was giving me a little bit more advice regarding uh, setting up, uh, or rather turning off sticky keys, but I'll, I'll play around with that later. Uh, oops, I came out of the labour view. Let's continue. Now on to Cog. What are you, Cog? You're a farmer. Uh, I actually quite like having farmers. Uh... We could do with perhaps a couple more plant smiths. We'll turn off that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm favoring having another plant smith. Actually, I'm favoring having several other plant smiths. Uh, we do not need you to be a presser, though. You've only got a very little bit of skill in it anyway. Okay. Right. Well, Cog, you shall be a new farmer. Well, what kind of person are you? I was near to a seat. It's interesting. He personally can't fathom why anyone would want to live in an ordinary and harmonious society and does not care about family one way or the other. He dreams of crafting a masterwork someday. I really hope that it would say he dreams of raising a family one day. That would have been so amusing. Alas, no. And once again, you shall be named from chat. The Cree Cool. There you go, Cree Cool. You are now a plantsmith. And we have an accomplished butcher this time. Talented dyer. Um, who does our butchering generally? It's the Beastmasters who do that. I could set you up as a Beastmaster, but, well... You know what? Yeah, what, why not? Let's, let's set you up as a Beastmaster as well. And so we're going to need the, where is it, Thrasher, Milker, Shearer, and Beekeeper. We are not going to need you to have Clothier. And that is pretty much all we need for you. Okay, Odom Uzel's Fall. Let's get you set up. What do you like? I was neither seated. It pleases me. He personally values decorum, dignity, and proper behavior, values romance, and values tranquility and a peaceful day. He dreams of cast crafting a masterwork someday. You shall be a Beastmaster. And your nickname shall be... Col... Colx. There you go, Col Colx. You are a Beastmaster in the fort. Oh, I misspelled it. Or, well, I didn't misspell it, but... Beast Master, there we go. That'll look better in the list. Now, we only have a few more to name, and then we'll get back to... Uh, oh, actually, we've got quite a few more to name. Damn it. Stupid migrants. All right, we've got a brewer here. I'm actually not against having a another brew smith, but... Uh, well, I think you're probably going to be a murder smith. No particular skills, but uh, you are going to be one. I'm well. She dreams of raising a family. In the chaos of battle. Right in the middle of it, raise a family. And your name shall be... Zappa. There you go. Zappa, you are now also a member of the fort. Welcome, welcome. A gelder. What a horrible profession. I'm just going to say this now, that's horrible. No part of... of any good society should Gelder be your one and only profession. That's just wrong. Uh, you're not a bad cook, but we've already got enough cooks. 
Ooh, Felon Sons. Hey, Avak. When you're deciding on Murdersmiths, watch for poor willpower. If I remember correctly, it's also how good they are at resisting pain while in combat. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. I will keep an eye out on that. But you're going to be another Murdersmith. You clearly enjoy inflicting pain. Either Murdersmith or dentistry. Really, and since I can't make you a dentist, it'll have to be a warrior. I was near to a table, it's very interesting. She personally sees cooperation as very important in life. She dreams of raising a family. Very well. And you shall be Uban Raskaban. Welcome to the fort, Uban Raskaban. That name also sounds familiar. Just having a quick scan to see if you're already in the, the list, but I don't believe you are. Okay. Uh, actually, I need to keep you with one. Uh, all right, then. I'll, I'll allow you to be our gelder when you're off duty, my lord. Right. Iden Abel, Abel Lam Lamid. Oh, sorry. Obel Lamid. I believe the, the A with the little ring at the top is uh, O, not uh, A. I could be wrong. Got uh, a high master cheese maker here. Wow. Okay. Perhaps you're going to be a plant smith then. I can see no reason not to. Well, we've got an adequate. No. Um. You're pretty good at that. Wow. Also, you should. Definitely be a plant smith up there. You should be a grower here as well, and you as well. Any other skills? Ooh, hang on. Ooh, okay. Wait a second. Wait a second here. You are actually a swordsman. Okay, sorry about that. False alarm, you're not going to be a plant smith. You are going to be a murder smith. Broaden your horizons, for there's more to life than becoming great at just one thing. Indeed, you must be great at many things. Killing people with swords, killing people with axes, killing people with your face, killing people with your hands, killing people with your knees. There are many ways to kill people, and you should master them all. He personally believes the idea of war is utterly rebellant and would have become... Have peace at all costs, respects the law, values hard work, and finds a pursuit of skill mastery off putting. He dreams of crafting a masterwork someday. Ah, oh, it sucks to be drafted into the military when all you want to do is write poetry. Alas, this is your lot in life. And you shall be. Mathon. Maton, rather. There you go, Maton. And to me. Avak, what is your favorite fruit? The pineapple. Without doubt. Okay, you are a milker of some considerable skill. Uh, not sure that I'm going to keep you as one, though. Let's see, what else can you do? Have you got any combat? You do have combat skills, so another murdersmith it is, then. We are slowly filling out the murdersmith profession, yet we haven't even made a single squad of murdersmiths yet. Try to keep an open mind. She personally respects the law and doesn't think one way or another about leisure time. She dreams of mastering a skill. And this one shall be from the name list. Let's see who this is going to be. Uh, Hearn for Mas uh, Mr. Hunter of Hell. Okay, Mr. Hunter of Hell, we shall name a dwarf Hearn for you. There we are. Right. Let's see what else there is to do. No, no, I don't want to use my mouse. Damn it, I'm just clicking on the screen. Uh, Lolo Amem Solan. You are a potash maker. A fairly trivial skill, all things called. I mean, it'd be useful to be able to make fertilizer for the fa field, but no. Another murdersmith you shall be. And you shall be named. Let's see. Why build a man? There you go, we'll build a man. 
who recently asked, how would I go get about getting added to the global name list? Well, uh, one way is to just be in chat when I'm naming people. Uh, we have a presser. A presser of what? I'm not sure. Probably uh, wax. But you're only going to be doing that in your spare time from now on. For you are going to be joining the Murdersmiths. It was such a joy to be with people. She personally values good crafts dwarfship, values artwork, and does not care about friendship. She dreams of mastering a skill. Hopefully we can make that dream come true. And you shall be named after... Teflon Sponge. There you go, Teflon Sponge. You are now a murdersmith in our glorious civilization. And we are almost done naming people. Worry not. I know it's taken a long time, but uh, we do need to get all of the people with names, otherwise I just won't care if they die. Master Shearer, Adequate Spinner. Okay, well, uh, you do seem to have some decent Beastmaster skills there. Oh, that's interesting. Spinner isn't a part of the Beastmasters. Who does spinnering? Does no one do spinnering? Hmm. That is interesting. I'm fairly certain that spinning should be a Beastmaster skill. There we go. Okay, Shira, you are now a Beastmaster. Uh, actually, I do want you to be a milker. There we go. Slowly getting all of the right skills activated. There we are. I'm doing fine. She personally respects the law, finds eloquent and artful speech off-putting, and is somewhat put off by trade and commerce. She dreams of crafting masterwork someday. And Admiral Slug just subscribed. Thank you very much, Admiral Slug. Welcome to the stream. And uh, also welcome to the fort. There we go. You are our new Beastmaster. All right. Almost there. Zaz. Zaz is a soap maker. Now, actually, soap making is a fairly important uh, skill. We don't have one yet. You're also a novice bone doctor. All right. We'll add you in here. Uh, hmm. See, the thing is, we've got a couple of people who've got decent, very decent skills at certain things. Like, we've got a bone doctor. Hmm. And ideally, I would like only that bone doctor doing things. Uh, wound dresser. Yeah. Generally speaking, only someone who has skill in something should be doing anything with that thing. So, we're going to just tailor this. But you're... I'm still going to have you being a bone doctor. Uh, sorry, yeah, I'm still going to have you being a corpse smith. Simply so that I've got you in the regular part of the fort. You'll be available for doing soap, making soap as well. Dirt Whisperer Avak, Lex Jackie, uh, or Jackal, says, uh, that is actually a pretty interesting um, <laughs> name. That would probably be a pretty good one for farmers, Dirt Whisperer. He personally does not care about family one way or the other. He dreams of mastering a skill. Let's uh, get you set up as a corpse smith. And you shall be named... Lex Jackal. Is that a fat smith, Avak? <laughs> he gads. And Vuka Rirendok. You're a mechanic currently. I'm actually alright with you continuing to be one. You know what? Let's set up a uh, engineering profession, shall we? Yes, let's set up an engineering profession. We're going to take off the skill, the mechanic skills from our stonesmiths. And you guys will now be Onal and Rirendok. Shall be a new trade, a new skill. In fact, I'm going to give you all of this. 
So you've got engineering, siege operator as well. In fact, most people should have siege operator at some point, uh, once we actually have siege engines. But for now, we'll just keep it like this. I was nice to see it. It's very interesting. He personally values decorum, dignity, proper behavior, and finds romance distasteful. He dreams of mastering a skill. He shall be. The Machine Whisperer. And you shall be named. Uh, let's see. Sir Strawberry. There you go, Sir Strawberry. Welcome to the fort. And Vuka, let's check you out. Who cares what they think? He personally does not respect the law and sees working hard as a foolish waste of time. He dreams of mastering his skill. Well, you're not going to do that if you're not working hard, are you? But you shall be named after... Uh, Demon Fangify. Let's just check that I don't have Demon Fangify here already, because that... Demon Fang of I ends up in quite a few of my uh, Let's Plays. So I'm not sure if my feelings of that name being familiar are just from that or not. No. It appears that it's all okay. Uh, you're a pump operator. No, I would prefer all of my pumps to be automatic, thank you. But I will set you up as another machine whisperer. There's nothing like a good friend. She personally deeply respects skill at arms, values hard work, and sees sacrifices wasteful and foolish. She dreams of mastering a skill. And we shall have you... Arrakis. There we go, Arrakis. And finally, we have got a new trader who also happens to be an adequate spinner. I think we're probably going to go with you being a murder smith as well, regardless what skill set you have. I was nice to adore. It's very interesting. She personally truly values merrymaking and parties, values tranquility and a peaceful day, and doesn't care if others take the time to master skills. She dreams of raising a family. And you can tell them bedtime stories about that one time that you ripped a goblin's spine out through his mouth and then beat his reins to death with it. It'll be fine. They'll be very well-adjusted dwarves. There you go, Shaggy Shooter! You are now our new murder smith. And finally, the dwarven child needs to be named after their parents. And then we're done with this. My lord, it's taken ages. Right, mother is uh, Uban Raskaban, and father is Sir Strawberry. Uban Strawberry it shall be. There we go, Uban Strawberry, welcome to the foot. And finally, we are back to actually dwarfing things. My goodness, it takes a long time when you've got a large migrant wave to name everyone. Stray Donkey Foal Tame has been slaughtered. Good. I mean, uh, not good, but, but good. Alright, let's uh, see, we've got 29 idlers and that is not good for me. I dislike having so many people idle. Let's see, which professions are generally idle? Um, are artisans, corpsmiths, oh, quite a lot of people. Are murdersmiths? You know what? I think perhaps we should set up our military. It's time. Okay, I'm going to take a sip of my tea and then we're going to get to uh, setting all of this up. ZPDC, Avak, what tile set do you use and where can I get it? You can get it from the link in my Dwarf Fortress Let's Play videos. It is the Iron Hand tile set. Now, we need to create a squad. And we also need to decide who is going to be the most likely person to fill out the, the commander role. So first, we're going to come over here. And I would like to organize it by skills. Let's find the right skill. Wrestlers, no, 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 I want leader. If there is a leader or teacher. Leader, there we go. Yes, we want we want a strong leading dwarf as our murdersmith. I would like to sort by this skill. 
And there we go. We've got one Murdersmith teacher, and that is Fairy. They are the best teacher. They are also the worst... Oh, sorry, best leader. They are also, unfortunately, the worst soldier that we have. But Fairy, you are going to be our militia commander. Well done on your promotion. All right. Create a squad. Uh, for now... I prefer to have them all be archers for the time being. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind having them them train in wrestling too. Um, I think we're going to go for wrestling to start with. And just have them flat out train as wrestlers. So that they can get their dodging up and all of that kind of stuff. So for the time being, just give them... No uniform, just so that we can get this set up as fast as we can. Now, the first squad shall be the Ivory Corridors. Let's find Fairy. Where are you? Fairy, Fairy, Fairy. There we go. Fairy, you are the first. Now, I just need to fill the rest of this out with Murdersmiths. This Garoon, you're not going to be there. Right, we've got uh, Olaf Longbeard. Uh, Urban Raskaban. Zapper, Maton, got Shaggy Shooter, I think it was Shaggy Shooter, uh, I can't remember what the rest of your name was, <laughs> I do apologise, I'm not even going to try and guess, uh, Caisius will have you as well, so that's one full squad of Murdersmiths, no uniform, they are just going to be Expected to learn to be able to take a bit of a punch and, you know, lock someone into a strong grip and then rip their teeth out or something. That's all I want from you guys. It's not much to ask, really. Okay, that's all we need there. Alerts, active training. You're set as active training. Equipment we don't need to worry about. Supplies, though. Uh, positions, go to you guys, supplies, the ivory cor corridors can carry drink, can carry food, uh, you can carry, can carry any drink, no, well yeah, you can carry any drink and can carry three food if you get the chance, I just like them to be able to carry everything around really. Now as for the training schedule, I would like you to... Sleep in room, sleep well, yeah, sleep in room at will. Uh, I would not, I would prefer you not to uh, train there. No scheduled order. Uh, no scheduled order. There we go. We'll alternate them through the, through the year. Actually, let me just add this. I don't want ten soldiers. I want seven soldiers so three people can have some downtime at any particular time. Uh, defend barriers, patrol route, no. Station, no. Train. That's what I want from that one. Now, uh, oh, no, that hasn't updated, apparently. Shift and enter. There we go. So, seven soldiers minimum. Edit order. We would like to copy that order, actually. And I'm going to paste over everything so they've all been changed to just seven. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them every third month off. Like that. So they'll train for two months, for two seasons, sorry. And, uh, sorry, no, two months. And then they'll they'll have a, a whole month off, then two months again, whole month off, two months again, whole month off. And we'll go through it like that. Uh, so I Avak, carry one food or else it will rot a miasma you to lack of FPS. Oh, okay. Thank you very, very much for that advice there, Sockment. I wasn't aware that carrying that much food was a bit of a problem. We'll just carry one food then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, um, oh, Dr. Moriarty has replaced Metasapia. What is this? He gets some drama. Metasapia is not going to be happy, Dr. Moriarty. You've made a powerful enemy. I hope you know this.